Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rafiq Wayani. I'm here today to show you how you can create a virtual machine from a template utilizing PowerCLI, uh, which is a PowerShell module provided by VMware. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, so, you know, you actually end up having uh, VM is really what you want. That's really what you're after. However, the VM that you're looking for is located in a template at the moment. VMs. VMs are what you create first. Those are the things that have an operating system and an application on them and so on. Okay? You use a VM to build a template, but then you can take a template and you can build VMs off of it. The thing is, in VMware, but it's not only in VMware, it's also true in Hyper-V, it's also true in Citrix, it's also true in cloud platforms. If you don't use an automated method, you have to take this template and build these VMs one at a time, one VM at a time, which is, well, very painful, takes very long, and you really can't do that on an enterprise scale if you want to control some things. If you want one virtual machine that is built from one template to go to a particular box, right? A particular box. You can't really do that very easily if you wanted to replicate hundreds or dozens of VMs or if you wanted to automate the process. It's rather difficult. So you use PowerCLI to accomplish that task. And PowerCLI is a lovely module available uh, from VMware that you can just download inside of PowerShell. Version 5.1 and later is what I have tested my scripts off of. You can, of course, use this in earlier releases as well. The version that I'm going to be using is going to be uh, version 7 on my machine, version, version 7 of PowerShell. And uh, I'm using VMware vSphere version 6.5. I already have a template built. Okay, I already have PowerCLI installed. I also am using a local data store, local data store inside of a host, inside of a physical host, all right? And I have uh, my vCenter server. Now, in order to have a template in uh, VMware, you need vCenter server, okay? You need vCenter server. Without vCenter server in VMware, it's not really a you're not really able to create a template that would allow you to deploy large number of virtual machines uh, from one clean suite. You can clone machines, but even then you need vCenter server. But that's a discussion for a different time. I have outlined 10 steps for you that accomplish this task, and I'm going to show you how it's done as well. I'm going to take a template, and I'm going to store the template in a variable. So if you look here on the right, if you look here on the right, after you have found the PowerCLI module and you've installed it, okay, you are then able to connect to your VI server, essentially your vCenter server. You can store the template using a var called template. Dollar sign in PowerShell means that you're creating a template. Dollar sign before the variable means that you're creating a template. PowerShell is not case sensitive. Okay? Unless you're in the Linux environment, different story, right? Uh, then you use a dollar sign data store. Again, this is a variable that stores the data store where you want to put it, and then you specify the host where you're going to put the virtual machine. So where the template is and what the name of the template is, what data store you want to put the virtual machine on. This data store is for destination virtual machine. Okay, data store of the machine that you're going to be, where you're going to be putting the VM, and then this is a host where you're going to be putting the VM. If you are in a clustered environment, this is a little bit different. If you're in a clustered environment, the uh, command for data store is different. The command for VM host is different because in a clustered environment, you're not specifying a host, you're specifying a cluster. I'm giving you an example of building a VM utilizing uh, a one template going to one data store, in this case, a local data store, and then utilizing the uh, new VM command, this new VM command, to build that template. So you can see how this works. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take the store template, the store variable of data source, and we're going to take the stored variable for uh, our host. We're going to supply these variables from PowerCLI, and we're going to tell it to create our VM 
And what's going to happen is these VMs that are built are going to be built based on the template I specified based on the template I specified. They're going to be placed on the data store that I specified, and they're going to be placed on the host that I specified, all utilizing uh, PowerCLI. Let's take a look at how this is done. Okay. PowerCLI. I'm going to, I already have the PowerCLI module installed. Those are the first steps that I ha I'm having you do. Find module PowerCLI, that VMware PowerCLI, finds a VMware CLI module all over the internet from VMware, and then install module downloads it and installs it. Install VMware.PowerCLI will install it. Okay, so I'm going to do a connect VI server, and this is the IP address for my server, and I'm going to specify that I'm going to get the credentials this way. So I'm asked for the username. I'm going to specify the username into my vCenter server and the password. And it begins to grab and connect to it. And it's connecting to this box right over here, this vCenter server right over here. And there it is just connected. Now, if you go to my navigator, you notice that I've got one, two, three, four hosts. If I do, I'm going to clear the screen and I type get VM host. I'll notice that I've got four host connected. See, 96, 97, 98, and 99. Here they are. And I can even sort them very easily this way. So there's 96, 97, 98, 99, right? If I type get template, I can see that I have two templates. Okay. So I can use a CentOS base template. I've got CentOS templates constructed. And I've got this other template called Auto03. Templates are created off of VMs first. I built a CentOS VM, and then I uh, basically turned it turned it into a template. The way you turn a machine into a template inside a vCenter server is you would right-click on the VM. It, it, once it's turned off, you select template, and you're able to convert. The reason this is grayed out is because this virtual machine is powered on. That's the reason for that. Okay. So you create a VM, you can turn it into a template, and that's how that's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a get data store okay. and if you notice I've got NFS data store and I've got local one two three and four so if I look at the 98 machine for example and I go to data stores I'll notice that the 98 VM host has a data store that is called local 01 you notice that local 01 belongs to 98 machine right here so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say that the name of my template, I'm going to do a get template. I'm going to say that I want to use a template, get template auto 03. Okay, so I want to use that template, this right here. So that says I'm going to build a machine using that. Okay, And then I'm going to say VM host. And my VM host where I'm going to place, place my machine is going to be 10.0.0.98. Of course, that can be a DNS name just as easily. And then I'm going to say that the data store where I'm going to put my machine on is going to be local 03, which is oh, not local 03, local 01, <laughs> which is that data store right here. Local 01 belongs to 10.0.0.98. Do a template. There's my template. If I do a data store, there's my data store. I do a VM host. There's my VM host. So this template is what's going to be turned into a VM. It's going to be stored on this data store. And it will be located on this host. So I'm going to call this VM. Notice over here in 98, there's no VM that is called that is called PS Demo. You notice that? I'm going to create a brand new VM called PS Demo. So I'm going to say VM name equals PS Demo, like so. Then I'm going to say new VM name, VM name, data store, data store, VM host, VM host, uh, template, template. I'm going to run async. In other words, I don't want it, I don't want to wait. When you run async, it runs in asynchronous mode, which means that PowerCLI will not be hung 
while the virtual machine is being constructed. It's going to release resources of immediately to me, and the uh, template building process is going to be happening in the background. Confirm equals false simply means that do not ask me if I'm sure I want to build a VM or not. Just go ahead and confirm for me. It's like saying yes if there's a prompt. So this is the switch for the template. I've got the template specified right here. This is a template that it's going to take. And the VM host is going to take my VM host var. A VM host var is right here. It's going to take this VM host. Okay. And my data store right here, the data store switch, is going to take this data store. And my data store variable is local01. Okay. So now when I run this, and I press enter, it runs it, and look over here. There is a PS demo right here that is being built. Notice that? It's in the process of being built. If I click on recent tasks, you notice it says cloning a virtual machine. And inside of PowerCLI, if I do a get task, I can see that the task is running, is building my um, virtual machine from the uh, template called auto03. All right? So that's how you build. A virtual machine utilizing uh, VMware Power CLI. Uh, nice and easy. I'm glad you're here and hopefully you learned something.